So moving on, uh, sexy stockings. Um, <laughs> Fentanyl gear. Here's a 87 RX-7 GXL for $6,500. It has wide body fenders on it, and it is 203 kilometer, 203,000 kilometers, and this is again in Saskatoon, Canada. Why does every FC look like this? <laughs> yeah. Also, this is the only. Is that all of it. that's left? Yeah. Because that's all that's left of it. I'm digging that Ram. Yeah, the Ram looks nice. All right, moving on. <laughs> uh, 1994 Whoa. Miata. Whoa! 99,000 original miles, $2,200. Let me read the description so we know why. 1994 Mazda Miata, 99,305 uh, 9, miles, blue with black interior, five-speed transmission, needs clutch and rear window repair, starts and runs great, but undrivable due to needing new clutch or clutch hydraulics work. Excellent body, minor scrape on the right front fender, VGC interior, needs a new battery, airbag warning light, flashes intermittently, asking $2,200 or best offer in that, Portsmouth, Virginia. That's a buy. That that's seems a like a pretty good buy. deal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like doing a clutch? No problem. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. A, a new I'll top do, is I'll 200 do, bucks. I'll do an engine. Like, Wait, what the fuck is wow. this is going on? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That thing is up there. Yeah, that's that's a big one. I don't know if I've ever seen one that big. <laughs> yeah, I, I get that a lot. <laughs> uh. Ugh. Jesus. Oh, I mean, th oh this is whatever, God. though, for real, though. I mean, you can buy yeah. an entire yeah, top whatever. with a window that's for whatever. 200 bucks. All those can be If you pay $2,200, you can afford the $1,000 for a hard top. Needs a new valve cover gasket, but again, whatever. Yeah, yeah. that's nothing. That, yeah. That's no. that's insignificant. Yeah. That's... What would this run on that? Like eight, ten for the mile? Five, maybe. Yeah, probably like five or six, really. Like, the thing is, there are a shitload of NA Miata's. Um, this is the first year of the NA8, which I guess would give it a little bit of a bump. And also, I think this is kind of a rare color, if it is original, which it looks and like it's it is. Pretty, it's pretty. Yeah. Pretty yeah. color. This might be an STO. I think he would probably mention that, though. He might not know, but the STO yeah, had, like, a boy. leather shift knob or some shit. Yeah, and it also has, like, a badge that says that it's an STO, so I can't imagine yeah. not knowing. Yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah, $2,200 needs a clutch and a top. Yeah, hell yeah, all day. All day. Fuck this looks yeah. like a good deal. I'm going to paste this somewhere for I don't know what's up with that fucking that cancer luggage rack. Some boomer owned it, and they were... Jesus. They, they couldn't they fit all lugging. their luggage in the trunk, I guess. I don't... They I were don't lugging. It. Why is it so tall? <laughs> it's for aerodynamics. You get max yeah, downforce on, off of your, of your uh, hard case yeah. luggage. You just mount the wing on the back of it. There you go. Down yeah, for you're it. good. <laughs> 95 240SX in Saskatoon. Uh, $14,500. Is the Canada special? Yeah, this is pretty much yep. all Saskatoon listings because Brock is the only person that's been posting in Nice Price or Crack Pie for like the last <laughs> two weeks. 105,000 kilometers. Real quick. Do what? Let me find this Navajo real quick that I, okay. I posted. This looks clean as hell. It's an LE. Uh, it's an automatic. It's original. Has 150,000 no kilometers. Rust. No rust. 14,000 Canadian. What is 150,000 kilometers to miles? 14K 90, is... 14K is $11,000. 90,000. I just told you. No, I'm saying it's it's eleven thousand. Hundred thousand is American 60. bucks. What do you think this is worth in American dollars? Ten grand. That's about what it costs. But yeah, 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 probably ten grand. I'd say. I think he's got it priced about right. Pains me to say it. it, really does. And and you know like. Okay, the 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 S fourteen is obviously the superior S fourteen, and that is not opinion. That's I mean that's fact. You can document that. Uh, I, I have no qualms with this. Go ahead. But but the Zenki is a cutie pie. I would I'd love to have a stock Zenki. I think they're both good. We've talked about this before. Um, 
That's a coin but toss, to be opinion. honest. Like. Our opinions are now. No, yeah. no, it's not a coin toss. If you had the choice, you know you'd, go, you'd get a Cokie. You're right. But... If you had to get a clean Zanke... If I had to buy an S14, I'd get a... Are you saying Cokie? Yes, because that's, that's how you pronounce it. Fair enough. All right, yeah, I'd get a Cokie with Brids and uh, put some There you TNs go, on it. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then you would slam it on Sierra Kai's. Slam it on Tarmax and Daylight. On, uh, on, no, no, what's that cancer wheel that everyone likes? Work VS KF or some oh, shit? God, VS those are bad. Oh, God. The ones that, like, LZ is buying up. Yeah. Uh, no, no, he's buying, like, Blitz 03s. He's buying the Blitzes. Oh, those are those are like Which the are dual spoke ones. Equally as cancer. Yeah. Okay, check out this. Check out this. Uh, we'll we'll break out of the Saskatoon. Uh, wormhole here. Check out what I just posted on. God, those are so the, ugly, dude. Yeah, they're terrible. They, they they it's like oh look at these Mustang bullet wheels I put on my car. Like, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me pull them up for the for the people. This is what we're talking about. These are works. Right, works. The yeah. SKFs. Yep, they're hideous. They're not nice. They're not good. This is the ugliest wheel you can buy. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. It's it's just a straight <laughs> up like it. It just you know it looks like it. It does not look to me. No, no. All that... I see is. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Like I do yeah, not see. Yeah. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> no, look, these are these are these. That's classic Emperor's New Clothes wheels, where people people want them because they think other people like them. Yeah, that's the only reason they're popular is because other people think they're popular. They're hideous. They're ugly. They're gross. Show me this. Uh, Scroll up a little bit in, in podcast. To my. Yeah. Okay. 1991 Mazda Navajo, forty nine hundred dollars, thirty nine thousand original miles listed a week ago in El Paso, Texas. So Nettle owned this in uh, three days. This is clean. It's really clean. This dude. is an Explorer, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Stick. If it was, if it was four wheel drive, clean title. I, yeah, it's clean a, title, garage uh, cab, thirty nine thousand miles, good condition, clean title, good, uh, stored in the garage. Yep. Emo, in mono. In me oh, in good condition. Yep. New tires. Kema Cocos. I don't know what Kema Cocos is. The interior looks clean. New plates and title in my name. Uh, it drives excellent. Only cash. No trades. Thank you very much. This looks excellent. Like it's got some weird pinstriping on it, but other than but that, it's factory. It's factory. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, no, yeah. No, that is. That is. Thirty. Oh, it has thirty-nine thousand miles, dude. This is a good. I mean, really cool. is that a dent on the tailgate? I don't think so. Like on the right there, sure over I the see Mazda logo. There. I, I don't know. Bad, also, there's like some clear coat paling on the left, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking yeah, maybe this well, doesn't look as good in person, but yeah. So the problem with this is you're not gonna find parts for it anymore, than especially in the junkyard. No, you're you'll find you won't find body parts for it, but no. you'll find mechanical parts all day because oh, it's yeah. an explorer. It's like well, yeah, the four liter that was in the back. Ranger, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's the yeah. same four liter. It's a, uh, it's the OHV four liter. Yeah. Uh, solid lifter, push rod motor, like 180 horsepower, something like that. Oh yeah, made made an okay amount of torque, but um, yeah, those were the ones. Like all of those ones died off for uh, with cash for clunkers. Yeah, why don't you already own this? Yeah, that'd be because it, it's not because it's not four wheel drive. Honestly, God, if it was four wheel drive, I'd I'd really yeah. really consider buying it. It's not LZ copying drive. your swag. What when did LZ copy my swag? Go back to the interior picture on this. The interior is fucking cherry, dude. Looks nice. Here's the back seat. It looks never sat in. Yeah, yeah. never never, even never farted in. No farts in. Yeah. No. Oh, he got a Celsius. I don't know. I don't know. He got a Celsius. Mike well, Devine's yeah, thought... been biting your style for a few months. Yeah. Yeah, I uh probably yeah, wasn't a grade four like mine. R grade. Yeah, R grade all day. Some R grade trash. 
But that's, I mean, that Navajo's, yeah, it, the only thing holding it back is that it's two-wheel drive. Yeah. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, it's got everything you'd ever want. It's the stick. It's sick. It's got low miles. This, this looks awesome. I would go look at it. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. And and it and it, it, it has the, the quirkiness of being a Navajo, not an explorer. Yeah. Right. Hell yeah. Good Into find. it. Nice. Good find. Uh, 1994 Mazda MX-5 convertible. Uh, I just saw this one down in the listings. Uh, this one's fifty-five hundred dollars. Has two hundred thousand miles. Oh, and it's that same blue with a uh, with the top. You can see at the front is, of it, it's been resprayed. This is not a five thousand dollar car. No. It it the most sad thing is that it is. Yeah, it's all rusted out. Yeah, it's wow. true though. This this is a five thousand dollar car now. That's a two thousand dollar roof. Yeah, look, Ken Lee said TikTok special. What it is. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. <sighs> yeah. There's nothing else to say about it. It's a $5,000 Miata is that, is that, because of Is current. that rust up there or is that leaves? That looks like just a pile of leaves, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but then this is a... rust for sure on the quarter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a hole there. Yeah, That's right where there. they all started. Yeah, they started the there and then... Part. Yeah. Is what it is. Moving on. Oh, look at that tattoo. That's nice. This is the only picture. Okay. Okay. This is uh, West Virginia. This is one of those competition oh. trucks. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, this is West Virginia. Like, he's got it at yeah. the tractor pole. That's definitely Blue Ridge Mountains and Shenandoah River right there. The tractor poles are kind of lit. I'm not even going to. They really are. Yeah. It's a 7.3. It's an F350 long bed. It's. Three thousand dollars. I mean, uh, it's probably also, horrific in person, but also I mean, and, it, and it's probably had the ago. oh yeah, had the piss beaten out of it. Let's move on because there's nothing here. This is junk. I should I go to a tractor pole sometime. That'd be lit. Take them. I'm, them I'm sure there's <laughs> Get fucking drunk. Pull the sled. <laughs> With the MR2 on a toe strap. Look for your look for your state fair. It'll be there. All right, I'm gonna get a drink and uh, go wee wee. I'll be back. This dude has to piss every thirty minutes. Uh, he must be pregnant. So that's fine. I'd cut back on my sugar intake if I was peeing that much. I'm just saying, but it's okay. <laughs> Does sugar Tiny. make you pee? It gives you Tiny diabetes. Bladder gang. Tiny bladder gang. Big bladder boys. Olaf, when are you going to drop like another article banger? Yeah, dude. We got rolling around on that head of yours. He was posting ideas for the He types was. Of... He had a good, yeah, he had that tiered idea. That was sick. We need to flesh that out. Yeah. Y'all still in this fucking stagia? We haven't even talked about it because I don't know what anything about these. About? Yeah. Waiting for you to shit. Yeah. All right. All right, WG NC34 Series 2 Nissan Stagia RS4 all-wheel drive in Saskatoon. This is some sort of Nissan wagon. It has 155,000 kilometers and summer is on its way. Get yourself into something fast and unique. I picked this up a while ago to replace my JDM Forester, but it's a little too big for my liking. Hoping I Yeah, you fucked up, dude. Blah, 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 blah. It has a rb25 det neo and an automatic transmission that's what we know and he's asking 9800 or best offer on it i mean it's 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 cool but you you have to like what it looks like that's yeah, all you gotta live with that like you gotta like turn around when you park and look at that and not go yeah i'd rather i'd rather turn around and look at a at a jdm forester i don't yeah. think it looks bad i just don't think it looks special i don't really care for how it looks to be honest it looks pretty I'll gross I'll take I'll take the the uh, legacy GTB wagon all day. Sadly, says the wheels are off of an R33 and are worth a thousand all day, and that might be true. But then you need to buy more wheels, right? <laughs> yeah. Me, <laughs> just me. Yeah, yeah. You have yeah. to want it. Yeah, I'm. Sub Subaru Subaru has the wagon market on lock. Subaru makes a gorgeous fucking wagon. Fair. Also, they make a wagon like for this price too, right? Like you could buy this, or you could buy a Subaru wagon. You yeah, could you buy, yeah, you, you buy could import. Outback. 
you get you could get a GTP for like probably seven grand delivered. Huh. What's that look like? Like what year? <laughs> Two thousand. Legacy. Legacy, Legacy GTP. GTP? Okay. Yeah. Look at that gorgeous fuck. Oh that's way, my that's way god. Better. Oh yeah. It's Compared infinitely better. And also, isn't oh, there a yeah. USDM version of this already? Like, we got this thing, right? We we got it non-turbo. Okay. And yeah. then this is this is basically that's like that's the Baja. Yeah. Okay. Know, so the entire the, draw of this other one, the Stagia, is the fact that it has an RB twenty five DET in it. Yeah. Also, yeah, it's it's it's, wagon. it's and then skyline ish. And yeah. then you're going to have to go to every Cars and Coffee and be like, well, it's got the same motor as the Skyline. Well, you know. Yeah, what, swap what, over what, the R34 front end onto yeah, it. Yeah, and that and that's the thing. It's like, that's that's the that's the hype beast thing is get one of these and put an R34 front end and then say, it's a GTR wagon. It's a G, you know, like. Yeah. yeah, essentially. That's all you're doing. Not into it. Moving on. What the fuck? Mm. <laughs> 1965 Dodge Ram 3500 Power Wagon. It's, uh, it's an OD power, power wagon. wagon. Yeah. Yeah. So like the power wagons. So this is an OG power wagon, right? The original power wagons were these like military looking rams, essentially from. They were war. farm trucks. Yeah. They were they, were. they were. They were work implements. Right. Yeah. Isn't there a company that makes power. like restored power wagons or something for ludicrous amounts of money? Uh. Oh, yeah, what the fuck is it's called? You could probably get them from AEV or... Um... Does Icon make, like, a power wagon? Uh, yeah, I'm sure Icon does, too. I think Icon was the one. Nailed it. But, like, those are OG. OG yeah. power wagons. No, wait, no, this isn't it. Yeah. No, maybe it is. I don't fucking know. Let's keep talking <laughs> about cars. Yeah, it, okay, this is something. I don't know, man. Oh, it's Not... Brabus. There's there's one that looks Robert, like you. That's it. That's it. How do you spell that? The fuck. No, Brabus Brabus does the fucking Glendewagen, not the power wagon. No. Oh. Power wagon. Not into this. All right, whatever. All right. Uh, yeah, there it that, is. It, it's yeah, that's a project. Don't know shit have. about him. No. Don't know if that's not a good deal. Not worth hand. I, 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 I really can't not. speak on it at all, you know. Um, look at the look at that running board though; it's like smashed. Yeah, that's done. <laughs> I don't know anything about him. I think Country Boy Can Survive posted this. He was looking at him, or somebody else was. Actually, I'm really not sure. Um, should probably write that down. But <laughs> uh, yeah, we know we know nothing about these, so we can't really say anything about them. I, yeah, um, I don't know anything about something that old. Here's an RX-8 in Brooklyn, New York, with 148,000 miles, engine rebuilt at 33,000 miles, a rebuilt transmission, all Mazda parts, new alternator, car runs great. All right, about, so you're good for another 30,000. <laughs> it's about yes. due for another rebuild. You know, if I if I was if I was as as uh as into Subaru as oh let me rephrase this if my interest in Subaru was was traded with Mazda, I would I would have probably buy a bunch of RX-8s because they're cheap. They don't seem to be that difficult to rebuild the motors. And I was reading about it. It's like $4,000 to have the engine rebuilt. Yeah. And, and I'm guessing that includes the labor. But I'm Maybe. not, not 100% on that. But at any rate, you see these cars selling for like four to $6,000 and that's basically how much you're going to spend to rebuild the engine also? Yeah. Yeah. And then you're left with like a 230 horsepower cool but rotary. It's, but but it's a great chassis, you know? It doesn't look bad. It's it's a pretty good looking car. Yeah. It uh, uh, It sits in the shadow of every other rotary though. Yes. Yeah, that's the problem. Yes. It it yeah, this is it's like the 4th gen forerunner of the rotaries. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I think the fenders are cool on these. Like they, like these, these don't really show it, but like they're really just like they're, right over the wheels. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty bulbous. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't buy one. I'm scared of these because it seems like they're all either on their way out or we're just yeah, rebuilt and, and something went it's, wrong. It's no, one of the, it's, you have to accept that you're going to rebuild the motor. Yeah, yeah, and that's it. That's that's the thing is I've always just been like. 
I've heard and just been told to stay away from them because they're just ticking time bombs. Yeah. Every single one of them. Seems There's to be the case. Ken Lee says it's not like a Turbo RX-7 where you go out in glory. <laughs> yeah, it's... it's <laughs> you go out in NA glory. emissions choked RX-8. <laughs> Yes. Um, I wish they were cooler. And that's yeah, all I can really like, say I, well, about all right, it. All right, so here's the question, though. Motor blows up, which it inevitably does. What's, what's going to cost you the less to be the most reliable? Well, at least for the most reliability. Like, LS LQ9. Swap. <laughs> yeah. LQ9. No, there was, there, there was a guy there was a guy early on, I'm pretty, I think he was in the, in the, in the feed discord, that was like talking about GM V6 swapped RX8s. I mean, and I, was, and I was looking at them, and it looked sick as fuck. Yeah, I like is that? That's gotta be. It's gotta just be some like GM motor that just like yeah, pops it, right it, in. It, it was a, it, and it was like 300 horsepower, and it and it and it almost kept the the near perfect weight distribution. Right, because that's it, right? The car looks good, right? Looking at the car, you're like, oh, and the chassis is great. The chassis is great. It looks okay for the year, right? Sure. For the mid 2000s, it looks pretty good. But like at at the end of the day, what really turns people off of these cars is just how shitty the engine is and how it's going to blow up. So if you took that out of the equation and just put some, honestly, I I really wonder if like a 3,800, a 3.8 liter, um v6 from any gm would stuff in one of those could you imagine there, dude like I'm the, te- there, there's the gtp motor in there like Google a 3.8 it, supercharged there's a place that does it and i want to say they charge like five or six grand to do the whole thing well hold on even before i even look at this would you rather go through all of that effort to have a a gm v6 engine in a rx8 <laughs> okay <laughs> So, so have, yeah, I, I agree. So you've you got the compromise engine right. and the compromise chassis, or you could just buy a low mileage 350Z. Yeah. Like, what yeah. are you doing? Yeah. At the end of the day, right? Like, but you got to really love Mazda and also not rotary engines to go through <laughs> with all of that, which is bizarre. Yeah. Uh, You're okay. Right. You're GM right. GM V6 swapped. What? Keisler Automation? Yeah, LFX? I think that's it. That's it. That's it. 340 horsepower, 3.6 liter what? LFX. Okay, that's kind of cool with a six speed manual. Okay. Ew. But, I mean, yeah, it you're not looking look- at it all the time, so okay. Oh, go up. Go, look, at the, look, at the, look at the weights. Look at the weight comparisons. Man, that's light. That's yeah, pretty light. That's cool. I just ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, twelve thousand dollars out the door. Yeah. If you do, oh wait, no, that's that's not turnkey though. That that's you doing all the work. The I mean, drive if you... train kit. The drive train kit itself is eight grand. <sighs> You really you gotta, gotta like in, this car. You, you gotta, gotta really in. like this car. You gotta really like a LFX engine. I Ugh. just, no way. <laughs> Twelve grand would buy a nice 2006 350Z. Well, look at look oh, at this easy. thing, just destroying everyone on the track. That's all driver. No, look at his look at his sunglasses. He's a normal dude. <laughs> Yeah, but look who he's racing. He's racing some nerd in a, a new Type R Civic. Like, come on, man. That's just some guy from, like, a software company. He doesn't know what he's doing. He can't even pass a Type R. He'll get there, I bet. They wouldn't have this video here if he doesn't get this guy right. He's on his ass Please now. I'm gonna do their best Jeremy Clarkson impression. And he's coming into the corner all nice and clean. Coming up on oh, him. Man. Got him. Got him. He's got him in the stripes. Get Damn, right. he ripped that motherfucker up to like 7,200. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 7,200 in an RX 8. Unheard of. <laughs> yeah, I. 
it's an interesting project, but again, like, oh, that's a really long video. Um, you'd really have to like both this, yeah, no, this V6 right, and right. this chassis. Right, this is one of those things where you do the entire project and you go to the first Cars and Coffee and, like, the first guy that looks at it that's like, sweet, how much you got in it? And you're like, oh, 12 grand. And he goes, why don't you just buy a 350Z? And then you just kill yourself because yeah. that's what you have to do. <laughs> well, and it's like, it's, it's, it's to, to want this, you have to be kind of a word about the RX-8. But if A-word? you're a word, autistic, you know, autistic. But if you're a word about the RX-8, you're you're only going to have the rotary, you know. So it's like, yeah, RX-8. It, it, RX-8 it, it defeats whoever, itself. You, you, Nobody RX-8 likes the RX-8 because yeah. of the body. Yeah, they like it because they can't afford an RX-7. Yes, one million it's, percent. That's why it's it's, it's the the RX-8 is the Mark III Supra. Yeah, that's one hundred. <laughs> yes. that, that's yes, exactly. All right, enough of this shit. Yeah, moving on. Uh, here's a cobra. It's in Saskatoon. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to do it for this episode of Collect the Car Feed podcast. Thanks to our sponsors, H Genuine. That's H Dash Genuine dot com. Use offer code Feed at checkout for a special offer. And Outworld Systems, for all your refurbished electronic needs, OutworldSystems.com. Links are in the description. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next one.